Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So today I've got something a little bit different and I'm hoping this is going to help me with my diamond painting. As you know, I'm a messy diamond painter and I'm very good at spilling. I'm good at throwing diamonds and drills around and well, you know the story. Um, if you've watched my other videos, <laughs> you'll have seen me when I'm kitting up and kitting down. So I've been wanting this for a while and I saw it and I thought, you know what? I'm going to get it and I'm going to give it a go. So what I've got is this wonderful tray for diamond painting. And it's to keep your diamond trays in. Oops, sorry, just get rid of the box a second. It's come in a nice box. It's come through Amazon. It's an art dot one. Um, and, oops, oh, that's one of the little bottles has just disappeared as you see i'm a good spiller already and i've only just opened the box <laughs> so let's see what we've got so we've got a big tool kit there we've got lots of little bottles these look like the size that go in your storage trays so these oh yeah they fit in there so that's one two i've not got the lids on i wonder if that's to stop them cracking in transit maybe three four five six seven eight okay so we've got storage for four little bottles and i think these bottles we worked out hold about 1400 drills um i'll have to try that but yeah i think they're over a thousand anyway of your drills over five packs of your drills so they're pretty good um, and then it has little sections for keeping your trays in. So what I thought was, well then, oh look, you've got all your little trays. There's one, two, three, four, and it comes with your five trays. Okay. I've got a space here as well, I suppose, for keeping bits and pieces. Hmm. That looks like, actually, you could probably stand your iPad or whatever in there if you were watching television or whatever. That would maybe stand there. Or could you put your picture in there? If you had a hard back on that, you could maybe stand your picture in there. Hmm, possibly. Okay. And then we've got diamond painting pens. With These are the thick... Um, multi places so you've got your singles on the end there got two four six of those so let's see what we've got we have these look like are these i think that so that's two and that's two and you've got spaces look to stand them Okay, uh, that one looks like that's possibly a four, is it? Is that five? Let me have a look. Oh no, that's a six, so that's a six placer. So we've got two fours, two sixes, and are these nines? Yeah, these, yeah, these are nines, and two nines. Okay, so you get six pens with it as well okay that's just my little thing so i know what size my multi are <laughs> uh, they're not something i'm starting to use them i'm just getting used to using multi places it's not something i'm overly comfortable with at the moment but i am going to persevere and it looks like we've got the wax so we've got a little space for wax a good chunk of wax here and um, it is the see-through wax though this so let's have a look so yeah, it looks like you've got your little space there to put your wax in. So then you're all set for your diamond painting. Mmm, nice. Yeah, I reckon you could stand something in there. And then you can put other things on here as well. If you've got uh, your um, diamonds in bags, you could put them on here. So mm, let's measure it and see how big it is. Okay, so nice little area, actually, if you're short on space. So it's roughly 
to just under 37 centimeters which is just under 14 and a half inches that way by where nine and just nine nearly nine and a half inches that way which is 23 just under 24 centimeters and then let's have a look at the width of it see if we can or the depth of it let's have a look on the side is about three quarters of an inch which is two centimeters so it's nice and thick and jumpy and it's wood it's a nice solid wood as well really like that like the uh, logo i just want to keep stroking it but yeah really nicely finished off really good edges really good quality yeah so this would be very good if you're working uh, with other people say you've got children um, and you're all wanting to work together You've got plenty of pens here, everybody can have one. And you'll just pour your diamonds into one of your trays. And it's quite quite sturdy, you know, it can have quite a bit of a, a knock. I mean, you can see the pens wobble in there. It is, I mean, obviously, if you pick it up and tip it, it's going to go. But it, it's not too bad. I mean, these trays aren't brilliant because they do tip quite easily if you tip them that way. Let me just try some of the other trays, see if I've got some other trays I can just have a look and see if any of the uh, say the moss for trays they tend to be at least I know the moss for trays don't fit um, and that one doesn't so you do just need these or you can get ah the smaller white ones do yeah they do fit so you can use the smaller white ones there it is designed to work with your green trays because obviously um, if you've been diamond painting a while you've probably got an awful lot of these and you can just switch these in and out um, and what I do find as well, when you, if you do keep your drills in trays, I have tried it before and I'm just a spiller, but this looks really good and I wanted to give it a go. Um, you can then stack your trays with your drills in. Just remember which ones are which. Um, uh, uh, what I would probably do is maybe just put a little sticker, a uh, repositionable sticker on the ends here that you can just put the code on of whichever colour it is or oh, these would be excellent for working with say cards uh, it's particularly like special drills and things like that because you can put um, you know if you've got gold silver blue whatever you, you know which colours you're working on so that would be really good as well mm. yeah, I'm quite impressed with this I'm definitely going to give it a go um, so that slot I haven't really got anything that's could put in there that you'd maybe need. I've got a bit of hardwood. I've got a bit of hardwood there. Um, matches the colour as well. These are what I do my drills onto uh, making custom projects. And if you had a bit bigger piece, you could stand your canvas on there and you could drill onto your canvas there. Mm. That's quite an idea. I like that idea. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I, I, when I get new things, my brain goes six to the dozen, thinking of different ways I can use things. I mean, obviously, these are standard for your drill pens, um, so you can use any of your custom drill pens, um, and any of your thicker ones, because there's plenty of space in between for keeping them there. Or you can always keep them in there. And then maybe, yeah. Have them on there or if you use a, a normal pen you can put them in there I've got eight colors so you can just get your main eight colors out if you're doing say confetti backgrounds or mainly backgrounds that have only got two or three colors then you could put them in there the ones you're using at the moment on say the square that you're working on at the moment but yeah i like that and i like the fact it comes with all the little accessories as well not sure about using your wax there i think i would Andrew, you've got your plastic cover underneath. Yeah, no, you've got your plastic cover, so you're not going to mark it. Sorry, I'm just thinking, um, I'm just thinking mum and nana. <laughs> Brain here thinking I don't want to be marking the wood, but it wouldn't do, would it? Because you would just lift the top one up and just uh, get your wax on there. So that would make it easier for filling up as well. But yeah, if you've got your wax there and then you're just drilling on to canvas there that would be really good quite like that idea i'm gonna give that a try so yes um quite impressed with this do like uh, 
to have a go with new things. Um, let's see, it's very sturdy. You know, you, you can see, you know, I'm knocking this and those trays aren't moving. The pens are moving, but those trays aren't moving. They're not going anywhere. Uh, and your little bottles as well, which I do tend to have been known to knock bottles over. So that's quite good. They're quite deep into those little grooves there to stop them from going. Okay, well, I think that's me showing you this new product. If you've got any questions about it, um, I'll try and answer them. And uh, if you've enjoyed seeing it, then please press the like button. And if you want to see me unbox more things and have a play with more things, then please press the subscribe uh, and uh, I'll be able to show you what comes up next. So thanks for watching. I hope uh, you'll all pop back again soon and bye for now.